I'm about to reveal the 8 niches that could potentially sabotage your YouTube career. These niches might be the secret culprits preventing you from achieving YouTube success. Number 1. Compilation Videos While compilation videos may seem appealing, it's crucial to understand the potential pitfalls. Many compilation videos involve downloading and combining clips without transformative elements, risking copyright claims. Fair use on YouTube allows creators to reuse content if it's significantly different and adds commentary. Unfortunately, compilation videos often lack these transformative aspects, leading to copyright issues. Even if your video is monetized, you might receive a strike later on. Using copyrighted material, even for 4-5 seconds, could lead to a strike. If you plan on a long-term YouTube career, avoid compilation videos. Your channel might end up with 3 strikes and be terminated anytime. It's important to note exceptions where channels secure permission from content owners, like Daily Dose of Internet, or create compilations from their original content. Number 2. Meditation or Relaxation Videos Meditation and relaxation content can be popular, but it's essential to create original and transformative material. Generic music or videos from platforms like Pixabay.com might not be deemed original enough for YouTube's standards. To ensure monetization and longevity, consider incorporating a human voice for guided meditation or affirmations. Alternatively, invest in original music from platforms like Upwork or Fiverr to secure the rights for your content. Number 3. Motivational Content Motivational videos often feature clips from renowned speakers posing a challenge due to potential copyright concerns. Simply reusing these clips without transformative elements may lead to copyright claims. To navigate this, it's recommended to put motivational content in your own words. Channels like Brainy Doe showcase how original voiceovers can make motivational content both engaging and monetizable. The motivation niche is very crowded. It's not the most profitable one with high RPM. So, it's a good idea to avoid this niche if you're not really passionate about making your own original content. Number 4. Kids Channels While kids' content can attract substantial views, it's important to consider the limitations imposed by regulations like COPPA. Advertisers face restrictions on targeted ads to children, resulting in lower earnings and low RPM. So, channels dedicated solely to kids struggle to generate significant revenue due to these limitations. This is a channel analytics report from a content creator of the YouTube Mastery community, led by YouTuber Matt Parr. Here is the RPM of this channel, even after receiving a substantial number of views. A kids channel named Moppet Moon Kids TV has an RPM of $0.024. Probably because of the burden of this low income, this channel has not been uploading any content for 11 months. Another kids channel named Bulbul TV Hindi has an RPM of only 9 cents. This means that for 1,000 views, this channel earns only 9 cents. Additionally, this channel has not uploaded any videos for 7 months and over the last year, its views have been decreasing drastically. It's for sure that this large channel with 760k subscribers is going to become a dead channel very soon. Therefore, those who wish to work in a high RPM niche should definitely avoid this particular niche. Number 5. Gaming Content While gaming content has immense popularity, the saturation of the gaming space presents challenges. Numerous channels focus on individual games, making it essential to find a unique angle or approach. Affiliate marketing opportunities within the gaming niche may be limited, and some games require explicit permission from developers for YouTube uploads. It's advised to thoroughly research the copyright status and terms of each game. I'm not denying the potential of the gaming niche. I'm just highlighting that in the crowded gaming video market, selecting a different niche could be more lucrative if earning a substantial income is your priority. Number 6. AI Content the rise of AI content tools has sparked interest, but not all tools produce high-quality results. Text-to-video AI doesn't match the quality of videos crafted manually by creators. YouTube also discourages the creation of low-effort bulk videos using tools like Canva. The platform does not favor content that lacks effort. Additionally, some AI voice-generating platforms may produce text-to-speech that doesn't sound authentic, negatively impacting viewer engagement and potential monetization. To address this, consider using Eleven Labs' voice model, known for its authenticity and suitability for video monetization. Additionally, incorporating deep fake videos or audios from others into your content may lead to trouble, as YouTube actively regulates and updates policies to address AI and deep fake issues on the platform. Exercise caution to avoid being banned by YouTube and refrain from using bulk video-making tools, text-to-video tools, and deepfake videos of others. Number 7. Music and Lyric Videos 
uploading copyrighted music without proper authorization poses a significant risk of receiving a copyright strike, and revenue often goes to the music's copyright owner. To avoid copyright issues, use free and licensed music from YouTube's audio library. However, uploading solo music from there or other copyright-free platforms may not result in monetization. If you want to make money with music, create your original music or hire a freelancer to make it for you. Copy-pasting music is no longer an option. Number 8. Non-Advertiser Safe Content Understanding the advertiser's perspective is crucial for content creation. Advertisers are presented with two options for running their ads. They can choose the standard approach, minimizing adjustments to settings, or they can explore every setting to display their ads on controversial and age-restricted content. The majority of advertisers opt for the standard option. This is why when your videos have restrictions, a yellow sign appears, resulting in lower earnings, as most advertisers prefer not to showcase their ads on restricted content. So, make sure to create videos on topics that are interesting for advertisers to place their ads on. It's crucial to avoid those eight wrong niches to ensure good earnings on YouTube. In this video, I discuss the most profitable niches, providing insights to assist you in choosing the right niche for your faceless YouTube channel.